cost concepts and cost allocation in managerial accounting. We've been talking about the manufacturing income statement and specifically how do we compute cost of goods sold. Well, we've talked about it in terms of the beautiful reporting format. In other words, the first kind of inventory is material inventory. We take beginning material inventory, we add to it purchases, get materials available, subtract the materials we did not use, and that gives us materials used, the first ingredient in any product. The second ingredient, direct labor, is added to those materials, as is overhead, to give us our current manufacturing costs. We add that to our beginning work in process inventory, subtract our ending work in process inventory, and that gives us that very important subtotal known as cost of goods manufactured. And that's the subtotal where we get how much a unit costs, because you take the cost of goods manufactured in dollars and, and divide it by the units produced to which we add beginning finished goods inventory, in other words, all the other products that we made last period that are ready for sale as well. And that gives me COGAS, cost of goods available for sale, the cost of everything I can possibly sell a customer during the period. Subtract the ending finished goods, what you didn't sell, and that gives you cost of goods sold. Now, this is really long, but I bet you wondered, I wonder where all those numbers come from. Well, those numbers that show up on the income statement as part of cost of goods sold all come from the three inventory accounts. So cost of goods sold information comes from the asset accounts uh, for inventory. So let's see how this works. Material inventory, that account gives me the information for cost of goods manufactured and sold about the material inventory. So material inventory, the T account, shows the beginning inventory, which then flows up there, plus we debit material inventory whenever we buy purchases, so our net purchases show up on the debit side. On the credit side of material inventory, is the amount of materials used, and then the difference between the beginning plus the purchases and what you used will give you the ending inventory. So notice that this information is sliced and diced differently and made to be beautiful in this part of the report. The second part of the report is pulled from work in process inventory, and work in process inventory will give us everything through there. So let's see how this works. Work in process, we could have a beginning balance to which we add our materials, our direct labor, and our overhead. What comes out of work in process is what comes out of the factory, which is the cost of the goods manufactured. So the difference between what comes into the factory and what leaves the factory is the ending inventory, what's still left in the factory. The last part of the cost of goods manufactured and sold uh, section of the income statement comes from the finished goods inventory, and that's cost of goods manufactured through cost of goods sold. So let's see how that works. Finished goods, we could have a beginning balance in finished goods. Inflows the cost of the goods manufactured, outflows the cost of the goods sold, and that gives me the ending balance. So if anyone ever asks you, where do financial statements come from? They come from the accounts. Specifically, cost of goods manufactured and sold come from the three accounts that are inventory accounts. Uh, that are assets, material inventory, work in process inventory, and finished goods inventory.